I went out to the hall and said he didn't know what he was saying. He was sure he had to get out of there. I said I had to tell his grandfather to call me in to the point where he was off. God hates sin. The truth is, God hates sin. The truth is, God hates sin. Listen to the truth. Listen to the truth. Listen to the truth. Listen to the truth. Yes, I voted Don't listen about your lies. Listen to the truth. The Log Cabin Republicans is an organization of gay and lesbian Republicans who are seeking to end discrimination in the Republican Party on the basis of sexual orientation. In June of 1998, Fort Worth hosted Texas's state Republican Convention. The Log Cabin Republicans were not allowed to participate. In response to the party's rejection, Log Cabin held a rally next door to the convention at Fort Worth Water Gardens. The God Said Ministries is an ultra-conservative Christian activist group. Led by Reverend W. N. Otwell, the faction seeks to enforce a literal interpretation of the Bible in both religion and in government legislation. Consisting mainly of homeless men, the members promote the group's ideology in exchange for food, shelter, clothing, and transportation. As is their standard procedure, God Said Ministries tried to interrupt the rally in an attempt to protest the log cabin Republicans. Is the mic on? All right. We're doing a mic check. You got it? Okay. We're going to get started. We're going to begin at 10 after 12. So please gather here in front of the microphone. Please gather here in front of the microphone. The first speaker that we're going to have this afternoon is the president of the Law Cabin Republicans of Texas, Mr. Steve Levinsky. the application that the Log Cabin Republicans submitted to the Republican Party of Texas three weeks ago asking for exhibit booth space somewhere in the Terry County Convention Center. We received a letter several days thereafter stating simply from the Republican Party that our booth space has been denied. Several days after that, our members in support of the law who are practicing solid they don't need to be in the First Republican all, Party. We don't even need them in Texas. We don't need their money, today. their tax money. We don't need their influence. Day we don't need them in Texas. Hey, in fact, in San Francisco. Thank you, sir. Hey, save yourself. Save yourself, Red Jesus. Jesus, show her that you love her. Jesus, now show her cleanse of hell. Show her those that are burning. Show her the rich man that's burning in the hellfire himself. He can't even dip his finger in water. Oh, Father, show her where she's wrong, that she's confounding the wise, that she is taking those with her to hell. Oh, Father, save her soul. Confound her. Confound her, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, I rebuke her in Jesus' name. I plead the blood on her in Jesus' name. Jesus, if you can't save her, come to it was a success because basically you have to understand this is the front lines of the whole battle. This is, I mean, it doesn't get any worse anywhere in the country than right here, what you just saw. This is the worst they can dish out, really. And so it's it's important for that reason. It's very important for that reason that everybody, you know, take it on right here and push it back right here. Because in a lot of places, I'm from Washington, D.C., we have people here from New York and Ohio. It's not that way. Our party is very inclusive in those places, so it's a different story. But right here, we all have to come and support our fellow uh, Republicans here in Texas who are log cabin to change things here. Uh, so we're here to confront the sodomites East Texas. Are you a delegate to the convention? No, sir. We're here to confront the sodomites.
most of most of the people with the sign with you. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, okay. Yes, sir. Nobody else wants to stand against them because they got lace on their drawers. They hate child molesters. They hate drug dealers. But they turn the sodomites loose. Now tell me the worst. Look in the Bible. Tell me which one's the worst. And you ran for governor in '90 against Clayton. 1990. Save her soul. Save her soul. Go to the, the Democrats. Go to the Democrats. You form your own party. Don't bring your sin to our convention. We don't want your sin in our convention. We don't want you. We are either. We are here. Never, never, never will we allow you in. against everything that God's against. And did you know God's against uh, uh, homosexuality? Yeah, you know, I read that. Yeah. Chapter, Romans chapter 1. I just got to read some of it. Tried to read it out there. It says, man leaving the natural use of woman, burn his lust one to another, and said God gave him up. Nobody ought to want God to give him up. So they said, I believe it. They told me, everyone, I believe in God. One of them said, I'm going to pray for you. I said, I hope you don't. I'm in enough trouble as it is. I don't want you praying for me. But he doesn't know the God I know. And I'm not a judge. I, I just take my chance. But I believe in the special King James Bible, the Word of God. We will not be silent. We will not go away. We will not flee politics. We will not flee our party. We are standing and we are fighting. And we do that, and we do that fight with the knowledge that you, with a very powerful knowledge. We do it with the knowledge that we are all created in the image of God. We are all God's children. And all the name calling, all the signs, all the hatred, all the delegates, they cannot separate us from the love of God because God will not be silent. Open his eyes, confound him. Show him where he's wrong. Show him the souls that he's going to be responsible for in hell. Show him all those that are going to burn with him. And Father, when he walks through that fire, you're going to reach into that thermostat and you're going to turn it up hotter unless he repents. Father, remove the scales from his eyes. Open his heart. Jesus, call him out by name. Save his soul in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Show him where he's wrong. That he'll never be accepted in heaven until he repents hits from this abomination. It is wrong. It is an abomination. It is ungodly. You cannot have my son. You cannot have my daughter. No, no, no. Never, never, never. Thank you. Thank you very much for being here today. You are on the front lines of the battle for civil rights. There is no doubt about it. You are here, you are here as gay Republicans, as gay Democrats, as gay people, as straight people. It's like being black in Mississippi in the 1950s sometimes, isn't it? But we're here to stand for equality. We thank you for being here. We ask you before you leave to throw any trash into the garbage cans. Thank you very much for coming. I think the reason why they were so hateful and mad and angry today is because they know they're not going to win. And they know we may not have the numbers they have, but we are morally right. And in their hearts, I think they know that. And um, history will show who was right. There's a great peace that settles over you when you know that you're right. And you just, you just hold yourself and... Um, you look at what they're doing and you just, you sort of let them do what they're doing because um, the message that they send is that they're really hateful, awful people that I don't think anybody really agrees with. And you just sort of let that show. People make up their own minds and they'll see that they're on our side, not on theirs.
spot. I'm a saved sinner by the grace of God, and you're a liar. No, we're not all saved because you're not saved. Because God says, therefore, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things become new. And he says the abominable and whoremongers and adulterers will, will have their part in the lake of fire, which burn up the fire and brimstone. Is that what he says? He said, is that what he doesn't say that? You don't know the word of God. Look in Revelation. It's in there, buddy. That is, that's the rest. Is that the only word of God? 